Okay, we're looking at trigonometry and non-right angled triangles. And you, uh, if you do the IGCSE, you've got a few formulae at the front. Um, if you do normal GCSE, I apologise, you have to memorise these. Uh, sine rule, cosine rule, and you've got the area of a triangle. So, let's have a look at the first thing. Now, actually, deciding when to use a sine or cosine rule, essentially, if there are two angles and opposite sides, okay, and they're uh, then you're going to be using the sine rule. Otherwise, you have to use the cosine rule. So this first one, okay, I'm, it says find the size of angle ACB. So I'm finding that there. Now that means I've got opposite sides and angles. And so here we go. So we're going to do so it's the sine rule. So sine of ACB over 9 equals sine of 67 over 14. I will need to um, rearrange that so I get sine ACB equals 9 sine uh, oops, 67 over 14 and I want ACB, I have to squish this, uh, ACB not D, I'm going to rub that out, that's slightly annoying. Um, okay, ACB equals sine to the minus 1 of this thing here, all right, sine to the minus 1 of 9 sine 67 over, where are we, uh, 14. Okay, which equals, when I stick it in my calculator, make sure you um, are in degrees mode, 36.3. Okay, so there you go, it's the sine rule because I've got opposite sides and angles, essentially. That's the key to that one. Now, the second one, right, says calculate the area. Now, in order to calculate the area, we need, that's a, the area formula uh, is a half AB sine C. Okay, so I need an angle, and I haven't got an angle, so I need to work one out, and I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to actually work this one out, okay, um, using the cosine rule. So the first things first. Um, you've got the cosine rule, which is I'll write up the top, which is a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos of big A. All right, so you can put all the stuff into there, rearrange it, and because I'm a bit short on room, essentially angle at p, so that's qpr, equal, not the football team, I'm not anti the football team, but there you go, equals cos to the minus 1 of, uh, what is it, 16 squared plus 15 squared minus 11 squared all over 2 times 16 times 15. Now, I put that in my calculator, it's 41.4, okay, but I'm actually, uh, I don't particularly want to round until right at the end. Now I can use the area formula, okay, and I'll use the ANTS key. All right, from putting this initial thing, uh, oh, actually, uh, from putting this in my calculator, I want to keep the whole thing, really. Um, so there you go. So area equals a half times, and that's the sides, either side of um, the angle I have, times 15, times sine of, and now, like I say, ants, which was the previous answer I got, which is the one I've just circled in green. So hopefully that makes it a little bit clearer. And that gives me a nice accurate thing of 79.4 to 3 significant figures centimetres squared. So there we go. Um, like I say, you've got three, three formulae to remember or to use. Right, sine rule you can only use if you've got opposite sides and angles and a pairs of them. Okay, otherwise use the cosine rule. And like I say, I don't try and do too much at once and don't round until right at the end. Use the aunt's key.